Good morning to you on this Thursday morning. We continue with 1 John chapter 2 today from verse 25 through to the end of the chapter. This is the promise which he himself made to us, eternal life. These things I have written to you concerning those who are trying to deceive you. As for you, the anointing which you receive from him abides in you, and you have no need for anyone to teach you. But as his anointing teaches you about all things, and is true, and is not a lie, and just as it has taught you, abide in him. Now, little children, abide in him, so that when he appears, we may have confidence and not shrink away from him in shame at his coming. If you know that he is righteous, you know that everyone also who practices righteousness is born of him. John reminds us, this is the promise which he himself made to us, eternal life. That is the whole purpose of Jesus coming into the world, to save us from sin, to save us from eternal death, and to grant us eternal life. If we believe in him, we have eternal life. John said, I'm writing these things because there are those out there who are trying to deceive you. I've come across ministers who claim to be Christians, who believe in reincarnation, who teach such nonsense. Reincarnation is a blatant lie. It is for man to live, to die, to face judgment. We will only live once in this world as it is now. We will die. We will face judgment. We will all be resurrected to a new life. Those who have believed in the Lord Jesus Christ will live with him forever in eternity. Those who have not believed will spend eternity alive but dead in eternal death and total darkness. We need to sort our affairs with God in this life. When we come to Jesus, repent of our sins, ask him for forgiveness. He forgives us. He receives us. He writes our names in the book of life and we have eternal life. This is the promise which he himself made to us, eternal life. Once you have been saved by the Lord Jesus Christ, you are always saved. So never doubt that. We'll look at the remainder of what's in these verses tomorrow and maybe if we need to the day after. But right now, let us be clear that we have eternal life when we are in Christ Jesus. But there is no other way. Don't think that you're going to get a second chance or another go. It is for man to live, to die, and then judgment. So if you have not yet committed your life to the Lord Jesus Christ, I plead with you, do it now. He will accept you. He loves you. He died for you. He will not turn you away if you come truly repenting of your sins. He will forgive you no matter what you have done. Come to him right now. Lord God, Heavenly Father, we bow our heads before you in the precious name of Jesus, your Son and our Lord. We thank you for the promise of eternal life. We thank you, Lord Jesus, that you came and that you died upon the cross of Calvary. You shed your blood and you paid our sin debt in full so that all who repent of their sins and turn to you receive eternal life. Thank you for that. I pray for that soul that has not yet repented, that has not yet turned to you, that this would be the moment that they would realize for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son so that whosoever believes on him should not perish but have everlasting life. May this be the turning point right here, right now. Lord God, Heavenly Father, have mercy. We pray, Lord, for our governments. We pray for all in authority that you would give them wisdom, strength, lead and guide them. These are difficult and turbulent times all around the world. But you are in control. Man is totally out of control. Lord, have mercy, we pray once again. We lift up before you the sick, the dying, and all who are in need. I lift up before you those who are struggling, those who don't see, who don't have any hope. Lord, would you grant them hope? Would you shine a light into their lives? We thank you that you are with us always, that there's nothing that comes our way that you are not aware of, and that you are not controlling. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Increase our faith. Pour out your spirit upon us in you today. And hear us now as we join together in praying. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, now and forever. Amen. So my friends, have a blessed day. God be with you. God willing, I'll see you all again tomorrow.